Humans, as with most animals, reproduce sexually. This means for offspring of a genetic combination of two parents. This video will look at some aspects of how this happens. We'll look at how sperm and egg, the sex cells, are adapted to their specific roles before looking at how a female's menstrual cycle is controlled by different hormones. Sperm and egg are gametes, or sex cells. They're different to all other body cells in that they're haploid, meaning that their nucleus contains only a single set of chromosomes rather than pairs. Each of these cells is adapted to its role in sexual reproduction. Egg cells have a large store of nutrients provided by the cytoplasm. Sperm cells are adapted to their role of carrying the genetic information from the father to the egg. Sperm have tails to move and many mitochondria to release the energy needed for the cell to swim such a long way. When the sperm reaches the egg, the enzymes that are stored in the acrosome in the head of the sperm break down the cell membrane of the egg to allow the nucleus in to fertilise it. Immediately after this happens, the cell membrane of the egg cell changes so that other sperm are unable to gain entry. For a woman to become pregnant, several things need to happen. The sequence of these events is crucial, and each step of the way is controlled by hormones. Let's look at this procedure first, so that we have a view of the big picture before looking in more detail at how each stage is controlled. So, for a woman to become pregnant, the first thing that needs to happen is that an egg cell is ripened in her ovary. This egg then needs to be released once it's ripened, but not before. A sperm needs to fertilise the egg before the egg breaks down. The fertilised egg then needs to reach the uterus of the woman, and before it does that, the uterus needs to be prepared, ready to receive and support the fertilised egg. If the woman is to remain pregnant, the uterus needs to stay in this state so that it can support the growing embryo and fetus. Knowing that this is the process by which a woman becomes and maintains her pregnancy, we can now see how things are different in cycles where the egg is not fertilised. Roughly every 28 days, the woman's body goes through a cycle of ripening and releasing an egg. The uterus is also going through a cycle of the lining building up ready to receive and support the fertilised egg. If no fertilised egg reaches the uterus, this lining is not maintained and instead it breaks down and it leaves the woman as a period. The cycle is then able to start again. This cycle is measured as starting with menstruation, which lasts around five days. For the next few days, the lining of the uterus builds up, getting ready for the fertilised egg. Sometime around day 14, a ripened egg is released by the ovary and travels down the fallopian tube towards the uterus. By day 16, the uterus is ready for the fertilised egg and is able to support it. The fertilised egg arrives, the lining of the womb is maintained until the baby is ready to be born. If no fertilised egg arrives, the lining breaks down around day 28 and the cycle begins again. To make things a bit easier to understand, we can break this process down into two parts. Firstly, we can look at what's happening in the ovary, and then secondly, what's happening in the uterus. Two hormones control the ripening and release of the egg from the ovary. FSH, which stands for follicle stimulating hormone, ripens the egg, and LH, which stands for luteinizing hormone, releases the egg. Both of these hormones are released by the pituitary gland, which is housed in the brain and is transported by the blood to the ovary. Two different hormones control the building up and maintenance of the lining of the uterus. Estrogen, released by the ovaries, causes the lining to build up, and progesterone maintains the lining of the womb. Progesterone is mainly released by the corpus luteum, which is a structure in the ovary. A new corpus luteum develops each cycle, and if a woman becomes pregnant, then eventually progesterone is produced by the placenta of the developing baby. It's this progesterone which maintains the lining of the womb and stops the cycle restarting. The levels of these four key hormones over the 28-day cycle can be shown on this graph. FSH levels are high at the start, which ripen the egg. The FSH causes the ovaries to produce oestrogen, causing the lining of the uterus to thicken. When oestrogen levels are highest, that means the uterus is ready. The high oestrogen levels cause the pituitary gland to release LH so that the egg is released. This is called ovulation. Corpus luteum 
begins to secrete progesterone so that the lining of the uterus is maintained. High levels of progesterone inhibit or stop FSH and LH from being produced. This means that no other eggs can be ripened or released. If progesterone levels remain high, it means the woman must be pregnant. If they drop, this means the egg wasn't fertilized and the drop in, pro in progesterone causes menstruation. Low progesterone levels also allow FSH to increase again and we're back to the start of the cycle. Sexual reproduction in humans relies on the adaptations of the two gametes, sperm and egg, and the menstrual cycle being controlled by hormones. Sperm have a tail for motility, mitochondria to release energy, and an acrosome containing enzymes to break down the cell membrane of the egg. Egg cells store nutrients in the cytoplasm and are able to change their cell membrane after fertilization to stop further sperm from entering. Sperm and egg both have a haploid nucleus. The menstrual cycle is controlled by four hormones. FSH ripens eggs and LH releases eggs from the ovary. Oestrogen builds up the lining of the uterus and progesterone maintains this lining. If a woman becomes pregnant, progesterone levels stay high and the cycle stops. If a woman does not become pregnant, progesterone levels drop when the corpus luteum decays, causing the lining of the womb to break down. This is known as menstruation and is the start of the next menstrual cycle.